Okay, so today we're going to start step one of our cell phone amplifier. I have two pieces of clay here for you and three pattern pieces. So the first step you want to do is, you know, place your pattern pieces. Make sure they're, they'll all fit. I've measured each one, so you should have just enough clay for all of these. I would recommend possibly standing up. Um, just be really careful of those around you. And I'm making a nice perpendicular cut. I don't want to do a cut you know, something like that, where I'm gonna angle my clay. I want it to be nice and straight, uh, um, nice right angle to the tabletop. That way, the edges of my piece are all going to be nice and clean. Uh, my goal is that all the pieces have the same thickness. Come over and cut this little piece out. So hopefully by now you have some idea of what you want to do for your uh, design. Just know that when you come to class next time, we will be assembling this, and that's when you can really start to make it your own. This is just a pretty basic pattern. So I can set those patterns aside. If I could ask you to please not put these patterns in your storage bin or your supply bin. I need those back so the students tomorrow can use them. So I'm almost done cutting out my, my pieces, and then I'm going to be uh, storing these until next time. So I want to separate my scraps from my sculpture pieces. I'd like to ask you to please, please do not take these scraps and wad them up into a giant ball, because you could need some flat pieces later on, and uh, you know you want to try to protect that clay, keep it nice and clean and usable. Okay, so your next step would be to take a scrap piece of uh, saran wrap and I'm going to lay it nice and flat, open it up, place my larger piece of clay there. I'm going to fold this over and place my smaller pieces on top. I can now come in and grab one of my Ziploc bags, my storage bag. I'm going to slide my hand under uh, my project pieces. I'm going to place that in my bag. Maybe I'll even fold that bag over uh, a little bit, making sure most of the air is out. Really double check to make sure that's uh, zipped. And I would play, place this nice and neat in my supply bin, really making sure my partner doesn't uh, put their project on top of mine. So if you may recall, I gave you two Ziploc bags. The other bag is for your scraps. Again, don't wad these up in a giant ball. That's just creating more work for yourself. I'm just going to store these um, just like I did my pieces, trying to push the extra air out, really making double sure that they're zipping. And I can store both of those things right in my bin, and I can pick up right where I left off next time.